This thing is fully customizable and there's a lot that you're able to do. So my name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you're able to turn your Samsung phone here in 2025 into a Windows device, but running on Samsung One UI 8. Now you have all of your capabilities of using your phone, how you always have, but you just have it fitted and formulated and looking aesthetically a little bit different. So if you love all of these tiles and you're able to create ones that have groups, so you can group these up together, you'd also be able to create some that have cubes. So this way you can have four different applications in one little tile. You can do that. Also, you can set up some gestures or some double taps. So if you double tap somewhere, you can set it up to do a shortcut or open up an application. You also have gestures where if you swipe up with two fingers, you can open up YouTube or really anything that you want. This thing is fully customizable and there's a lot that you're able to do. So how you're able to get this one installed and set up, you just go right inside of the Play Store. You'll go over to the search and you'll just search for Square Home. Now the one that I have here is this one. This is just called Square Home from Total Apps. So that is what it looks like. Now, so far I have not run into any issues. Uh, I've tried another launcher, but there was a little bit of problems with that. This one so far is smooth and I like how I can switch between using One UI 8 or using this. Now, how you can get this one set up as the default or switch it back. So if you're afraid of completely changing up your phone, don't be. That was actually why I tested it here on the S24 Ultra, and I might actually even just throw it on my S25 Ultra for fun. Now, you go inside of your settings. Now, once inside of settings, this is where you'll head over into apps. Now, inside of apps, this is where you can choose your default applications, you know, your default internet, default digital assistant. And here is where you're able to change it from One UI 8 over into the, the Square Home. Now, here's what happens. Let's say that we go and we go back inside of the Square Home. So it's just running right here. Anytime that you go inside of something and then you go back, it'll take you back to pretty much this launcher that is right here. Now, what happens though, if this one is not default, when you swipe up, it just takes you right back home and, and you're right back to where you were from before. So that is why I like this one because you don't have to be afraid of completely changing up the device and having to reset up everything all over again. You're right back to where you were originally. So let me put this back as default and let me show you a lot of the stuff that you're able to do with Square Home. 